I don't think there is any way one can measure happiness. I believe in the law of karma. Each person has some mission to fulfill in life. I was too shy a person. I never felt comfortable in the glare of limelight. I used to hate getting up on the stage and dancing in front of a crowd. Mother was my whole world. And after mother died, he replaced her in my life. So he was everything to me. He sort of took over my life. How do you look back on your acting career and this acting day? Well, I was the number one star of my time in the south. I was a great success. The place where I was confined was a condemned building. You must have seen some of these old English movies where they show medieval dungeons. It was exactly like that, a dark dungeon. Even in an emancipated, so-called liberated country like the United States of America, can you envision any woman becoming the president in the near future? No woman has even made it as vice president. So there's a lot of male chauvinism, even in American society. If that is the case there, then you can well imagine the extent of male chauvinism in India. You know, she had to spend nearly a year in prison. She has suffered a lot. So she, to me, is the sister I never had. And who would you say is the most good-looking man, the most gorgeous man in the world? Would you like that kind of face, the debonair? Yes. If a film were to be made on your life, who would you like to play Jaya Lalata? I don't fear anything now. The only way one can achieve happiness, I believe, is to achieve moksha, that is not to be born at all. I owe it to her memory to share her full rendezvous with you.